Hi everyone. Today I want to show you a tool I had made several years ago and showed on a different channel of mine. Um, this is this is a tool to help export um, basic object tables from AutoCAD into Excel using the clipboard. So you just copy and paste your table and you move it over to Excel. And what I mean by basic objects is this is a table that someone maybe would have drawn into Excel and put a text object in between every line, which you still see quite a few of these in a lot of plants that we work in and do designs for where they use just 1980s AutoCAD or, or 90s, whatever, and they just drew straight lines and put text within them and that part number or whatever, and they showed that data on drawing. Well, you can reorganize that, extract that data in a number of ways, and one way I've come up with that that, that works pretty well. Um, it works best if you have one continuous line for each separation of column and row, and I'll go ahead and show you how that works here. So. <clears throat> It uses the pick first selection set. So if I go ahead and select and say, that's what I want to copy and paste, you could add some other hotkeys or different ways of doing this. But if I run that, I don't know what just happened there. Oh, I can't do the VBA run. So I need to actually use a hotkey. So let me try that again here. Select it, come over, run the, the macro. If that's on the clipboard now, and you'll even see down here in my command prompt, I've got 179 objects that were selected, 150 of them were text objects that were actually sent in the correct format to the clipboard. So if I go over here to Excel now, let me scoot this over, and pick where I want to do it, or paste it, and just press Control V, I've got that exact layout of my table in the same the same layout, same rows, columns, and same data in the same locations. It's really pretty handy for getting that data out quick. There, there's not a good way to do that on an old existing table unless you do it one by one and hand type everything in. And this is a good start for how to build something like that. So it's kind of neat too. I can I can grab that. It's only going to grab the data that's encompassed with inline. So as you can see here, I've got some data that's outside of, or it's not fully encompassed by uh, two sets of parallel two pairs of parallel lines. So this three will not be gotten, but any of this data down here in this bottom that's completely encompassed, once I run the, the VBA code again, will, will be extracted and copied to the clipboard. So if I come back here, paste again, that's all I got because that's all that was completely encompassed. So you can kind of break apart your table. You can copy sections of it out. Um, Pretty handy. So I'll tell you how this works now. I do have to have a reference to the Microsoft Forms 2.0 object library. That gives us the clipboard access. So what I do, I'm looking for the pick first selection set and I grab that. That means before I run the macro, I've got whatever selected on the screen I want. That's all that means. I give a little command prompt update to the user and I loop through every entity within that selected area. If it's a line, the next thing I do is I look to see if it's a vertical, which vertical or horizontal, depending on the type of line, and I add that to an array of lines. And the way I check if it's vertical or horizontal is just two short functions I made down here. Check if the starting X point for the, or the start X point and the ending X point are the same, or if the starting Y and the ending Y point are the same, and that's all that is. So if those are the same, I store it in the array and move on. Once I find some text, I store that in array and move on. Uh, I store the actual, the entire block, or the entire text entity, not just um, the, the line start point that I have, that I store up here for my lines. I store the entire text entity so then I do a quick sort for my vertical lines because Excel is going to be basically working from the origin at the top left of your spreadsheet and AutoCAD is going to be the top or the bottom left of your spreadsheet so or of your uh, drawing. So vertical lines, I sort them ascending and, and 
horizontal, I sort them ascending. I could change in my quick sort function, but I didn't. So I end up reversing the horizontal lines because my horizontal lines will actually be going in increasing coordinate position up a spreadsheet and down an increasing number as they go down the spread the Excel spreadsheet. So I reverse them so that I work from the same point of origin or work from a, a uh, the correct point of origin. Then I take and I redimension my data. This M data is what I'm going to use to store my two dimensional array of data that I'm going to copy to the clipboard. So then I go through and I loop through all of my text values and then within that I look at each of my vertical lines and my horizontal lines and I check to see if the insertion point of my text is within the bounds are within the the vertical and horizontal lines that it's with, within any of them and if it finds a pair I store it in that corresponding cell within my two-dimensional matrix or two-dimensional array of my data I store the text string in there then I move it down here and I go to loop back through all that and I build a string that separates uh, the data cell so I take and I'm iterating across my array, getting my X data in one row, or my data in one row, I move across the columns, and I go to the next row across the columns, and I separate each one of those with the uh, ASCII character defined by the code nine, and then each row separated by a carriage return or a, a uh, number 10 ASCII character. And once I've done that, I've got a I, that, that means I converted my two-dimensional array into a single string of nothing but ASCII codes. Then I take the text, I set it to the clipboard, or I set my text that I just made to the text I'm going to put in my data object with that, which I then put into the clipboard. And then once that's done, it sits on the clipboard. I can use it here on within this virtual machine you see, or I can bring it back to my host and paste that same data again using the same control V. It works across both from host or, uh, or uh, my virtual machine. So that's pretty much that. The quick sort I use, my quick sort ascending version here is easy, readily available online. It's one I've, I've tweaked over the years different ways and I like this one for basic um, basic comparisons and sortations and the reverse array is just something quick to build that's no problem so that's the whole the whole function there if you have any questions or would like to see it work for a specific a specific uh, problem you're working on or project just let me know in the comments I'll find a way to get you the code or I can even build it for you and I'll make a different video showing you how it works and maybe we can build something fun so don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching